You're listening to Michigan Real Talk, where Michigan comes to talk real estate, business, and finance. And we're back with Gerald Moore, the District Director of the Small Business Administration here in Michigan. This is our More with More segment. Uh, Gerald, last time we were together, we talked about that Get to Yes program and the great thing that that is to help people go uh, access capital. But in the three C's of the SBA, right, access to capital, counseling, and then thirdly, federal contracting, I wanted to ask you about this counseling. Now, I know, because I've had personal experience with the SBA, getting involved in helping me with my small business, that there are a lot of opportunities. But tell me, what do you want to say to folks about SBA and counseling? Well, as you mentioned, uh, we should hire you because (laughs) you, you know this stuff fairly well. But yeah, you're right. One of our C's is definitely um, access to counseling. And what we like people to know and what we want your listeners and viewers to know is that when they connect with the SBA, they really end up having what we call a consultant for the life of their business, right? Our consultants can really help them no matter where they are in that business continuum from what we call pre-venture and you've got a great idea and Mm -hmm, you're looking for for somebody to help you launch it all the way through what we call harvest and that you've been in the business and now you're looking for a way out, right? Whether you want to sell the company, you want to retire, uh, and trying to get the cash out of the business and everywhere in between. So those are really the key things. When you connect with the SBA and our resource partners, you really do have a consultant for the life of your business. You know, American Dreamer, if you're like me, you understand that business has a, a lot of It's a multifaceted reality, right? There's not like one cookie-cutter approach. Now, there are some basic principles, but one of those principles is, uh, you know, a pre-venture phase is a lot different than what you might call a phase two business or or, or as you have a mature business. So I know you have a lot of different uh, tools in the box there to help people. Uh, One of the first things that I know for everyone, though, is a, a strong business plan. Tell me some of the things people are able to take advantage of in terms of planning. Yeah, the business plan is extremely important. You know, when I go out and I speak and do uh, events, we talk about, you know, the fact that the business plan is really your GPS. Okay. You know, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Oh, right. So (laughs) if you think about that and and the value of GPS, um, you know, think about GPS. You're you're headed to Louisiana. You've never driven there before. You wouldn't just get on the road and go, right? You've got to have that compass, that road map. And that business plan is just that. You know, one of the examples I like to give as well is, you ever been driving down the road and all of a sudden your GPS says recalculating? Uh That's not my favorite moment. Not the favorite moment, (laughs) right? Especially if you're in an area where you're not familiar. Right. Well, that's the business world. Uh Think about 2007, 2008. Oh, boy. When two of the largest corporations in the world filed for bankruptcy, Mm -hmm. right? If you had a business plan, if you were a going concern, your business plan was telling you recalculate it, <laughs> right? Because you then had to make an adjustment right. to try to figure out, wow, um, capital has, has been frozen. It, it's, it's tied up a little bit. Now what am I going to do to make these adjustments so that I can make sure that I can continue to follow my business plan? So the business plan is extremely important. We work with our small businesses, not only our pre-ventures, um, but also our second stage companies and others to help make sure they understand their business plan and that they're following. It's a living document. Yeah, you know, you, maybe you know the story of the barnyard marksman. Mm. He went out in the barnyard, shot three holes. In the-